Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jacob with Morales Landscaping and Lawn Maintenance. And today, guys, I'm just uh, take you along with us. Uh, what we get, see what we get done. Maybe I yip and yap, or I'm not telling what this video be will contain today. But anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and do all that good stuff. And let's begin. We are at our first property. We're getting done. You could tell the trees are not that bad, so I'm not gonna do that much trimming today. We got the bottom brush over there. It is a, got a lot of suckers on top, but I'm kind of letting it grow because I, you know, I feel like I've been cutting all the blooms off. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if we get some blooms on that. But everything else seems pretty decent. This one here, we're gonna, you know, the, the shape is a little off, so we're trying to let it, you know, expand up a little more. And so we get that round shape on there. Get this one here. The place looks pretty decent overall. We did trim real heavily last week. So everything's shipped. So yeah, we're, we're not to do that much today. <laughs> so this is house number one. So we have deer problem here. So this is the, what is this? Oh man, my, my mind just went blank. Vinca, these are vincas. And so, so, so far, so good, man. Uh, the deer have not been touching this. Everything that we put in these pots, that one and this one, the deer had alamandas. I had um, uh, angelonians, you know, things that deer usually don't mess with. They had tearing them up. But the vincas, you see, they're not, they're not touching these at all. So that's something good to know. So if you have deer problem, try some vincas. All right. All right, so we just got, we're getting done with house number two. This is Alex Lily's. This thing's pop. Yeah, from far away, it's just whoop. But they, they have problems with getting like some insects on them or maybe the ground's too wet, but they can turn brown, get a fungus. So I turned the water off. The water's been off for about two weeks now. And that we cut all the brown out. And it's good because now that you know they're they're blooming again. Because it was real nasty uh, last week. But we took a lot of time and got that cleaned out. Looks a little weird, but it looks pretty nice though. A little thin, big flowers. Alright, and then I think that's it. So this house is done. Next week we'll come in here, we'll clean up the the sagos, get the trunks cleaned out, get all the little stuff, you know, raise them up. But yep, that's it. <laughs> so today it's just me and Sparky. You know, we got the kid, he, he took off today, trying to get things ready, because he, he starts school, I think next week or so. Just trying to get some things ready today. And then I got, you know, the other guy, um, we'll call him, we'll call him the investor or stockbroker. I don't know. He's always on his stocks. So anyways, he has another job. So he, he does, uh, he has his own thing that he does. So he only works with me when, you know, he takes three days out of the week, comes and works with me. So for two and a half days. But I think if you add it all up, it's probably two days. But anyways, so so when he break when he breaks away from his, doing what he does, he, then he comes out here and, and helps me for a couple of days out of the week. So he's, he's doing his thing today. And so today is just me and Sparky. I do got that new house today that we're gonna be trying to hit up. That's what I'm kind of excited for today. That's my first time at this property. And then I'm dropping off a quote, quote, or price, should I say, to another house that I called yesterday. I wanted us to give him a price. So I'll show you that house too. So, all right guys, see you the next one. All right, guys, we are wrapping up property number three. That way, you got your bovenvillias. It's pretty trimmed up. Got the cypress. I'll try to see if I can talk them out of, of taking these out. We've always been having problems with them. And one of the main issues is that these cypress trees, they don't like a lot of water around the roots. 
So in this area, it stays wet. So they're always tending to fall over. So you see how we got these staked up. You know, we get a lot of heavy rain, they'll fall over. So trying to get them to, you know, just take them out, leave it open. You know, they always get mites. And you get these pumps trimmed. You get some of these oak trees trimmed back. See like that one there. Get all that out. But you know, you can only make, you can only do so much, as much as they allow you, right? <laughs> so it's not coming out of my pocket. <laughs> but anyways. Oh yeah, also we picked up that house over there uh, a couple months ago. So that house there is probably my only house I, I ever have ever done that doesn't have any shrubs. No shrubs. So they're doing construction work. I, I'll tell you another story on this house because it's crazy the, the, the way they did the construction on this place. So anyways, they're still working on that house, but we've been doing it for a couple months. And let's see here. Yeah. We have this house. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it right now. Probably end up doing it later today, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe Saturday. But we mulched this house here. This house we ended up putting like 50 yards of mulch on this property. We had it all nice and trim a couple weeks ago, and it's actually the house got put into a magazine. Last week they took came in here and did photo and did like a Photoshop here. I mean not a Photoshop but like a, a photo thing. Took pictures around the house and of the house and all that. So thought that was pretty cool. So anyways guys, next to, to the next property. Alright, so we're at house number four here. Doesn't look that bad. We did do a lot of trimming last week. But I'm probably gonna hit up those Yuginis there and that one there. And then we gotta go through the beds, clean out some of the weeds, the Bermuda grass that grows in there. Get it real bad. Get it real bad in here. So you gotta go in there, take clean that out. And don't like it because it grows all up into the side of garlic. But oh man, it's a pain in the butt. So we just gave a bid to this house next door. So we'll see what happens with that. So, all right, got a tree. Uh, got to trim that. I cut the dead out. But everything else, all this down here looks good. Looks good. All right, guys. Let me get to work.
All right, guys, so this is the new property here. This is our first time here. You can see we mowed it already. We didn't trim nothing in the front. We ended up trimming some hedges in the back. But so this is our first time doing this property here. Find out, you know, a lot of uneven. The ground's pretty uneven. A lot of weed eating. Uh, you see in the back when I get to the back. Almost practically almost weed eat the whole backyard. But it's pretty simple. You have your palms here, little shrubs. Um, it's pretty simple. But there's a lot more grass, more grass on the on the outside over there. So, but anyways, all right, guys. All right, so we're in the backyard of the new property, and you can see I had to edge, I mean, weedy from here all the way to over here. I was able to pass the moor one time across. It was like the, somebody got stuck over there, so I ended up weeding all this. So, and that's all natural water, which is pretty cool. So I leveled out this hedge here. We leveled out the top. Here you can see. See, I cut quite a bit on the side also. The front and the back. And the whole reason I, I ended up cutting the sides was because the hedge, if you see it from like this, it was sticking out up here and it was going down that way. And I really don't like the hedges. My hedges are looking that way. I kind of prefer it going in more and then coming out on the bottom so i don't know if you could tell but right now it's, it's all straight it's all straight and so and then all i do every time i trim i'll just keep on um with the kind of angle going in and you know so and, that, and, that, and that's the proper way to trim is you always trim um when you come down in the slant in a way cause so that the sun could hit it and it'll grow fully. If not, it'll start getting leggy on the bottom. And I noticed that a lot of when a lot of people trim, they come in here and they go in. And usually you just keep it straight or go with a different angle uh, going, you know, in the opposite way. So we got that. So. All right, guys, we're gonna call this a day. Um, so we ended up doing what? One, two, three, four, five, wait, four, five, five accounts today. So that's not bad. We got that new one, started that new one. Um, you see, it's pretty simple. Just a shape, you know, just uh, shaping up those hedges a little tighter in the front. You know, I'm gonna probably level everything out. Um, it wasn't that bad, not that, uh, uh, anyways, it's not that bad. Um, so that we just start that one today. Tomorrow we got another one that we're fixing to start, and then and then another two two commercial properties, not big ones, but they're kind of small. So we start those tomorrow, and and plus a, another one. So we got another a residential, and two more commercial properties. So yeah, I run a little behind, but it's all good. It's all good. So well, anyways, guys, anyways. Thank you for watching. Um, see if I can uh, make some vlogs for tomorrow. You know, showing the new properties that we're, we're about to do. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, like, um, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe, uh, comment, do you know all that good stuff. You know, really be, it's really appreciated. And then um, always remember, stay strong and stay focused. In my name is Jesus Christ. Peace out.